All right, turning to other news, more so than most transit agencies around the country, BART's revenue model has always depended heavily on rider fares, and that's why the pandemic hit BART especially hard. That's also one of BART's latest priorities, making sure everybody that's riding is actually paying to do so. Max Darrow has a look at the plan. Twice a day, five times a week, Matthew Olachea finds himself on a BART train. Gotten a lot better. His daily commute takes him to San Francisco from the East Bay and back. But before his ride, he swipes his clipper card at a fare gate. It's standard procedure. It's how you pay. But there are a lot of people who don't. It's definitely, I mean, a problem. But these gates that Olachea pays to go through, but many people just hop over, are in the process of being phased out, starting at the West Oakland station. BART is about to begin field testing these new fare gates. I really hope that the implementation of this project shows that BART is listening to our riders and that we are putting their safety first. BART spokesperson Chris Filippi says these new fare gates will make it harder for people to fare evade, which should improve security. They're much taller, they're stronger. It's gonna be much harder to climb over these. It's gonna be much harder to find weaknesses once we get to the final versions that we implement at all of our stations. He also says the new gates will benefit BART's bottom line. So much of our budget, more than 70% of our budget pre-pandemic, our operating budget, was paid for by fares. So if everybody's not paying, that creates a real budget challenge for us. The current system in place, says Filippi, makes it tough for BART to measure the impact that fare evasion has on the agency's finances. I think a good way to look at it is if you talk to BART riders, almost every BART rider has seen someone fare evade. And it's a very widespread problem. The plan is to field test these prototypes in West Oakland, finalize the new design, and then upgrade the entire system by the end of 2025. We're looking to install and replace more than 700 fare gates at 50 stations across our system. Back on board, Olachea sees how the move could benefit BART. I'm sure it's more of what they want. You know, they're getting more people to pay for the service. But is it the antidote the agency needs to get more riders on board? Not on its own, says Olachea. An increase in their quality of service would probably help. Just more consistency in the train times, um, a little bit more frequent communication about the delays. He says he has noticed various ways BART is working to improve the system. It's probably been going on for about a good four or five months now. Most notably... A lot more of the uh, like crisis intervention people and the, like a lot more police presence on BART. He's curious to see if and how the newest approach makes an impact. So BART says the Fairgate prototypes at the West Oakland station should be up and running by the end of the year.